So I just picked up these dumbbells up at a uh, local thrift shop. Uh, un unfortunately, they're a bit rusty, so I'd like to renew them. Uh, th there appears to be two main methods for cleaning them up. Uh, one uses vinegar and the other uses uh, wire wheels and cups. So uh, let's compare both methods. For the first method, we're going to use uh, some white vinegar, a wire brush, and a container that fits the uh, weights. And for the uh, second method, we're also going to be using the wire brush, an assortment of uh, wire wheels and wire cups, a cordless drill, and for both methods, we're going to be using our safety glasses, and uh, I'm going to be using standard Rust-Oleum paint. Uh, I've seen other videos where they use the hammered paint, but uh, I want to give this one a go. Uh, I'll put a link of the items used in the description below. And another piece of equipment I'd like to add is the uh, dust mask. All right, I, I do want to call out that once I remove that pink uh, tape, that uh, although these are both five pound dumbbells, uh, they appear to be a little bit dissimilar. So I uh, just want to let you know. All right, let's start off by putting on our safety glasses, uh, going to a well ventilated area and knocking off as much of the loose rust as we can. All right, and after scrubbing off the loose rust, uh, what I did was I filled the container up with just regular tap water, and then now I'm just gonna fill it the rest of the way with uh, the vinegar. All right, and now I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours. Let's see how it goes. And here's where we're at after a 24 hour soak in the uh, vinegar solution. Um, periodically, every, every four, eight hours or so, I did rotate the uh, dumbbell so that it has appropriate even coverage. Okay, let's remove it from the solution and see how things turn out. Just right off the bat, it already looks a lot better. Oh, and if you can tell, looks like some of the rust is just already kind of coming off pretty easily. rustier areas with the uh, brush. And it's coming off really easy. And after a few minutes of uh, wiping them down and scrubbing them with the brush, uh, they look like this. All right, so as the um, other weight is soaking in the vinegar solution, uh, let's use the wire wheel on this weight. And for the uh, area with the number, I'm gonna use the uh, cup brush. And once again, don't forget to wear your uh, eye protection and dust mask. All right, and after 15, 20 minutes worth of work with the uh, wire wheels and wire cups, uh, got rid of a majority of the rust. And just a quick note, I did leave the uh, can of paint out all day, and I also wiped down uh, both the dumbbells with a little bit of acetone to get rid of any sort of uh, grease or debris or dirt. Okay, so the plan is to give uh, both the dumbbells two full coats. I'm gonna paint one side, wait 30 minutes, flip it, 
spray it, wait 30 more minutes, and then repeat the process to get the uh, second coat. Let's get started. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to flip them and give them another coat. Okay, made sure everything was dry, flipped it, and now I'm starting the uh, second coat. I happen to find a little bit of touch-up paint uh, that's white in the garage, so I'm going to use this to color in the uh, numbers to give it a little pop. Alright, uh, in summary, both methods do work. However, if you have a drill, uh, that would be my preferred method. Um, it, it's just faster and also it does a better job at knocking off any sort of loose paint. So uh, that way the finish is just a little bit smoother. Uh, if a drill isn't available, uh, using the vinegar solution is a good alternative. I uh, hope this helps. And uh, if you happen to like what you see, please consider clicking like, commenting, and becoming a subscriber. Thank you.